Welcome to ZombieChickenTaco.com. My name is x 105 Today we're going to be covering a few more tools before we start getting into extreme mapping. Alright, here we go. Um, what we're going to cover today is we're going to cover the selection tools. We know that we can shift select an item, and we know that um, you can space and clone and stamp. And Say we got a bunch of m items out here and we want to select all of them. Uh, let's put them in our 3D view. By the way, A and Z isn't your move right and uh, change weapon or whatever you want to set it up as, but it's actually camera view up and camera view down. Uh, they're real close to your your standard keys that you, your hotkeys, so it's real easy to navigate using the up and down Z camera because there is no looking up and down unless you wanted to get into the advanced controls of holding the control out, yada yada. Anyway, to select multiple brushes here on this field, there's a couple of ways we can do it. Uh, if you look at the top here, we've got, uh, we can do it with the shift select, or if we've got a huge amount, say we've got an entire map that we've got to move the, everything in the map, aside from selecting it all in the layers list, which, and I don't use this too often, but you can actually put a brush down, and these tools up here, this one's allows you to select everything that it's in, um, this one allows you to select everything it's touching, this one allows you to select. Oops, let's go back one. I did Control Y there to redo that. Try this one more. Everything in it. Plus, it gets rid of it. Um, I just I've never really found those very very interesting or fun to play with. I just don't like them. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip that and we're gonna go on to the next set of tools. I, I, I mentioned in the last tutorial. Uh, hitting control and right clicking I think I said right key at one point but right clicking and you can split items <coughs> some of you might ask yourself well I, I split something and I have two brushes and how do I put them back what you can do is you can actually select both of the brushes as long as your vertices are fairly close or pretty much touching you can hit this key up here which is the CSG merge tool if you want names for all of these tools it's down right here if you see very in the bottom left hand corner you'll see a mouse moving you just hover over it and it'll show that down there um, but we're gonna hit the CSG merge tool left clicking on the CSG merge will put that back together um, then some people like to use this hollow tool I say build the brush right the first time let's say we wanted a, uh, a room or how should I say it's oh no I'm trying I'm sorry that, that's that's all up we're gonna go subtract first we're gonna put a window in a, in a wall that's a that's a really good tutorial there putting a window through a wall we're gonna have a wall here and in the wall we're going to put a block I'm shifting views here with the shift tab to allow me for some speedy mapping um, you guys can can fumble around with it until you get really good with it to end uh, just kind of get this, the simple shape that I'm showing you here. And with the subtract tool, you just hit that with the one brush in the middle selected, and it subtracts it. And if your backspace hit, uh, deletes that out of there, it puts a hole in your wall. Right, real simple tutorial. I don't like it because it doesn't set it up correctly the first time. Uh, my preferred correct way of doing this is, is a little bit off the charts, and it takes a little bit more time to set up, but it's actually going to give you a much better uh, triangulated surface than, than if you were to subtract it out. If you see what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm using the edge tool by hitting the E key and putting in those blue dots there and actually moving these to where they actually line up perfectly. The reason why I do that is because that edge will be cocked. Now if you look down on the top versus the bottom, the top is perfect, the bottom is not. Why I mean by that is when you put a texture on that one, it's still being generated back behind there. Uh, it, it's, it's underneath there. You don't see it, but the system's still rendering it. And to give you a, a good idea of what I'm talking about, we're going to show you the difference between the bottom and the top versions of what I've done. Uh, by going into the filters and taking off the cock, we can see the back side of the wall. See the bottom? The bottom half of it is, see that long piece? But yet the top half does not have that. 
this is advanced mapping. Uh, if you get used to this right away in the very beginning of your mapping stages, you are going to have a much nicer quality map and it's going to run a lot better. It's, it's essentially for optimization of the engine. So what we would do is we would change those in my 2D view here. And we're going to put that cock back on just for a moment. So it looks like we're almost ready. we got two more to go here. And hit the E key, bring that down. E key, bring that over. Now we have a little bit of an angled map, but when you go and place a texture on it, change a little bit of texture there, <coughs> and we turn the cock off, it is the way it's supposed to be. That's, I don't know if you can see that there in my little 3D view, I'm zipping around it pretty quick because this is speed mapping, baby. And that's pretty much it for uh, the Rotation Edge Flip Tools. Um, and next one, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll put in the, not the subtract, but I'll, I'll do the hollowing out tool. But uh, catch me in the forums. This was uh, x8105 at zombiechickentaco.com. Taco, taco, yeah, zombie